What's up everybody? I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. Welcome back to another epic international taste test. Today we are trying out some snacks and food from the country of Hungary. Big thank you to Rales for bringing these over to us. I cannot believe how much food we have in front of us, Satoshi. We have yes. so much. My word. Wow. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 You can say that over and over again. Anyway, we got a lot to cover. So without further ado, let's get started. So what shall I start? I think we're gonna start off with the drinks because we have two cans of. I think one is definitely beer, and the other one I'm not sure what it is. Oh, this is not beer. Oh, this the design is grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Can I open beer first? Yes, please. Of course you may. <laughs> this is the IPA beer, Soproni IPA. Obatosu duhaj. I, I, maybe, maybe. Um, once again, we apologize for butchering your language, but um, yeah, so we sorry. just don't know how to so pronounce sorry. these words. Okay, all right. So we're pouring the beer into two glasses. What do you think of the color, Satoshi? It's clear, but golden, golden, golden color. Yeah. Well, definitely your favorite IPA. Yes. Cheers, everybody. Thank you very much, Lalesk. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Love, love, love mm. this taste of IPA. May, may I say something? Do you remember um, we, we tried a whole bunch of IPA from Sweden? Mm -hmm. Was it from Sweden? Mm -hmm. Like those IPAs I actually didn't like. Sorry. This one isn't bad. This really? one I can drink. Really? The yeah. bitterness. It's the not as bitter as um, the, the ones that we tried from Sweden. This, this is not bad at all. This one has a very good Aroma of hop, mm. not mm. bitterness. The right. Aroma of hop. Right. And while you're drinking that, let's go on to the the next one, which is the Fris grapefruit by Borsodi, and I'm gonna pour this right now. Oh, that's a nice color. It's like the color of grapefruit. That looks super refreshing. It's a between beer and grapefruit juice. Maybe. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Good <laughs> <It's> aroma. <laughs> nice. Mm. This is good. I like this. This is nothing like beer. I don't think this is beer. What is this? I don't know. It's like a grapefruit cocktail. It's carbonated and it, it has. It's very very fruity. Tastes like grapefruit, like 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 fresh grapefruit juice with carbonated something. <laughs> is there alcohol in here? Oh, one point five percent. One point five percent ah, alcohol. Perfect. Very, very for low. Me. Perfect for alcohol. Me. It's yeah. perfect for you. It is. I, I don't like it when there's too much alcohol. I, I get drunk too quickly. We're gonna get started with the food and I think we should start off with something that's sort of like an appetizer. So why don't we start off with this uh, spread here. Okay, spread. Yeah. Okay, this is, I don't know that how to pronounce this. Uh-huh. Koro, korozot. Maybe. Korozot. <laughs> Has yes, has yes, 150 grams. That I can read. The brand is Mirufina. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this looks like some kind of like cheese spread or something, huh? Yeah, yeah, cheese spread. Right. So, so we're gonna spread it on these crackers mm -hmm. that we got from Sweden the last mm -hmm. time. Hi, itadakimasu. Hmm. Mm. Mm. The texture is very um unique, don't you think? It's like a cream cheese. Mm, but it's crumbly. Crumbly. It also kind of mm. reminds me of like a soft feta. That's you know, right. But but the taste isn't feta. The face is the the, the the taste is more like cream cheese, like you said. But yeah. with a little more complex flavor. How can I say this one? I don't know. Mm. Um and the color is orange, so mm. I'm just like guessing maybe there might be like paprika in here. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Mm. I don't know because mm. it's orange, it has to have something, right? I can't exactly find the flavor. Right, and plus we cannot read the ingredient list at all, so... Um, but it's good, it's very tasty. Mm -hmm. It's very, very tasty. So next is uh, a cheese called Eredetti or Darabol. I'm not sure which is the name of the cheese. Pannonia. Uh, I, I don't know, <laughs> I think Pannonia is maybe the brand, brand. or something. Yeah, but brand is Milkana. But really, uh, I don't know. But it's some, it's it's a cheese for certain, and it's a pretty thick uh, wow. slab of cheese. Wow. So I think maybe we can just eat the cheese like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it actually looks really nice. Mmm, mmm, mm. that's nice. It feels very mild. Mild cheese. cheese. Mm. 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 Kind of remind me like a um a little bit reminds me of like a cheese that we we got from IKEA. <laughs> I need. 
wine now. <laughs> mm, yeah, this would be perfect with wine. Mm. But this is very, very nice. This is perfect for people who don't like um, too complicated cheese, like blue cheese, for example, mm -hmm. or gorgonzola, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Everyone like this cheese. I think so. Me too. I like I like this kind of cheese too. Mm. The next one is, I think this is paprika. Mm -hmm. Finom Oloresu. Oloresu. Mm. Okay. We know this this brand. Yes, that was a really good one. I mm -hmm. remember the first time we tried this. It was very delicious. We're gonna try it again. Um, this time we decided to mix it into a salad dressing. Yes, salad dressing. Right, mm -hmm. and also some uh, minestrone soup. Mm -hmm. So shall we try the salad dressing first? Okay. So we mix this in together with store-bought Italian dressing. So we'll see what this tastes like. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. I mean, you know, how can it not be good? Hmm. Mm, that's good. That's good. Mm. I don't know mm. this this um, seasoning mm. or you know this this powder adds something. I don't know what it is. It adds something, but it, it's not strong like uh, black pepper. Or, you know, it's not peppery. It's not herby like um, uh, herbs. Mm -hmm. The umami of paprika. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Umami taste, umami flavor of paprika. Umami. Right, right. It adds a little bit of depth. And maybe a little bit of bitterness, maybe from the paprika. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's a pleasant kind of bitterness. Yeah. It is. I think this is less intense pepper, like a less intense pepper. Mm -hmm. That that's actually a good description. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Soup. Uh huh. Okay. We add it into minestrone. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. I mean, once again, this is something that I mean, it it, it just goes really well together. Yeah. Mm, that is good. Mm. It changes it though. It's no longer minestrone. That's the thing. So if you want to enjoy a minestrone, minestrone, I don't think you would, you should add it. But if you add it, it, it reminds me of um, like um, I don't know. It's, it's another dish. Like yeah, it's, like a it's another soup. dish. Yeah, <laughs> it just it just makes it taste different. Mm. Yeah, I love paprika powder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me too. All right, next we have another seasoning, and this is called Isaac Mister. By Vegeta, Vegeta. Is a something like that, <laughs> and it it looks yellow with um like veggies, like dried veggies inside, and it kind of reminds me of like the soup packet of instant ramen. Like, but it doesn't smell like it at all. It smells like vegetables. It smells mm -hmm. very natural. I I tasted before uh, filming. Uh huh. It is a little bit salty. Oh, okay. So, I see. So right. so I thought. It is very good for soup and noodles. Soup and noodles. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, and what kind of soup do we have here? It is a potato and cream soup. I see, okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of the seasoning mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. the potato and cream soup, mm -hmm. give it a good mix, and let's give it a try. Oh, oh. that's nice. Mm. It actually makes it taste better. To be honest the, with you, the potato and the cream soup is very simple. Mm -hmm. It has a simple flavor, mm -hmm. but I added this powder, mm -hmm. become delicious soup. Yeah, yeah. It, it, suddenly, Complex it tastes flavor. like something you would drink at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, restaurant quality, many vegetable flavors. Yeah, this is great. This would be good on a lot of things, I think, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. why. Your idea was great. We're gonna mix it together with some instant uh, dry noodles. So we've uh, made the instant dry noodles. We're not gonna put any of the dry noodle sauce that it came with. And we're gonna put a spoonful of this Isaac Mister and mix it up. And let's give this one a try. I'm really looking forward to this one. I really like this seasoning. It's delicious. Yeah, I really love this. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Very good. <laughs> Very good flavor. <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> Japanese about this. Yeah. Nothing Japanese. Yeah. Suddenly, it, I mean, it just tastes like um, like instant noodles that you would eat in Hungary, for example. <laughs> Suddenly, it become very unique. Yes, it's very unique. Um, um, in but, good way. Right. But having said that, though, it tastes very like um, like it's very easy to eat. It's not like exotic or so unique it's it, like it's not strange or anything it just matches it very comfortable flavor yeah like a comfortable <laughs> flavor right it's like it's like even kids would probably enjoy mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. seasoning mm -hmm. mm. with, with so much vegetable flavors mm. Mm. that's good mm. I but, love. but this one it does have salt in it so mm -hmm. i think you have to be careful with the amount mm -hmm. don't put too much of it mm -hmm. <laughs> we have three types of tube it's paste mm -hmm. 
two is I think it's made for, made with paprika, mm -hmm. and this one is uh, the picture horseradish. It's horseradish. Either that or bamboo mm -hmm. shoots. Let's start with this uh, red one. Mm -hmm. We have two types of red one: sipo, sipos and semeju. Mm, right. So, <laughs> which one should we try first? I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce okay. it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, semej. Semej. All right. So we're gonna put it on this uh, grilled pork. We're actually gonna um, get yakitori. We thought maybe it would go good with yakitori, but they were all sold out at the supermarket. So we grilled some pork instead, huh? Mm. Hey. Mm. It mm. makes it a little more salty. Mm. That's for sure. It's on the salty side. This is good. It is. Mm. It's so hard, difficult for me to like. It's it's salty yet the the flavor is very um like different from anything we have in Japan. Like like we would we we don't use this kind of a like seasoning for food. So it's very interesting, mm. but it tastes good. Tastes very good. Mm. Okay, we're gonna try the next one. This is the sipos, and we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna have it with the uh, the grilled pork. Mm. All right. Mmm, this one is spicy. Mmm. Oh, this one's spicy. Mmm. Mmm. But also good. It's good. Mm. It's good. I actually, for some reason, I like the spicy one better. Mm. I think this is good for yakitori. <laughs> right? I think so too. I think so too. Yeah. I, I feel like it will go perfectly with the salt flavor yakitori. Yes. I'm not the yes. one with the salt sauce. Flavor, actually. Mm. Oh, oh, and also tuna salad. I think you know put ah. a mayonnaise and then maybe put a little bit of this, mix it in with the mayonnaise, and I think that might make tuna salad a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving on. So this is called torma or najonez's torma, tor torma or something like that. And I I, I think this is horseradish because I can't imagine this is bamboo. And what are we gonna eat this with? Roast beef. Roast beef! We have roast beef! Right, okay. Okay, and we're gonna just put a little bit because I don't know how salty or strong this is gonna be. Mm -hmm. I like roast beef with horseradish. <laughs> me too, me too. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. This, this is horseradish. Mmm! Mm. We have horseradish paste mm -hmm. in Japan too, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. this is better. Oh, it's better. Much more horseradish. -y. It's much more horseradishy. The one that we have in Japan, well, maybe you know we buy the cheap one, the, but the, <laughs> but the one we buy at our supermarket, it has some a little bit of a sour flavor, which is weird. But this one has it's like a proper horseradish mm. sauce. Mm. Like this would be good for like roast beef, mm. prime rib, you know, anything you would use horseradish for. All right, we're moving on to the sweets, guys. Uh, we got a lot of sweets, so let's get right into it. All right, the first thing I want to try is this. This is called Francia. Francia. Drazi. It's a candy by Bombonetti. I think so. I think so. It looks like candy because mm -hmm. they're, they're like rainbow color. Mm -hmm. I love how colorful they are. Oh, colorful. Yeah. I, I got the, the dark, the pink, thick pink. I'm going to try the blue one. Mm. Oh. Is it chocolate? Chocolate. Yeah, it, mm. it, it's kind of like M&M's. Mm. You know, it's like mm. candy coated mm. chocolate. Mm. Mm. It's mm. not the uh, regular candy. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, this is it. good. Mm. I like this. Me too. Mm. The next one is Pirota. Mm -hmm. The brand is Gyori. Oh. Gyori. That's a cookie. It's a cookie sandwich. Right. It's cream filled. Mm -hmm. And do you notice that one side is darker than the other side? Yeah, yeah. I realize it. Right. And the inside, um, it's actually pretty uh, substantial. You know, it's not just a thin layer of cream. It's actually mm -hmm. a pretty thick layer of chocolate yes. cream. Chocolate. The cookie is like, um, well, the white cookie I think is like vanilla flavor. Vanilla flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Chocolate flavor mm. is stronger because the, the inside cream is chocolate flavor. For me, it's not like a really intense chocolate flavor. I actually, if you just eat the cream by itself, mm. Mm. it's better. Like, you can taste the chocolate much more clear. I like the texture of the cookie. Mm. It's nice and crumbly. The texture mm. and the sweetness level mm. is perfect. It Not is. strong. Mm. 
So I can't eat much, much more. Mm -hmm. All right, next we have something Stumer. And I believe this is chocolate. On the picture, it looks like some kind of berry. So I'm thinking maybe it's like berry flavored or something. Oh. And upon uh, oh, you know inspection, looks it looks like a piece of dark chocolate looks bar. Good. But the inside, there's some kind of cream oh. in here. Yeah, it's like some kind of liquid in here. All right, so let's give this a try. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. Mm. I love this. Mm. I love the tartness of the filling. Mm. It's some kind of like fruity berry jam on the inside. It has a little bit of tartness. I love that. That was a surprise. The contrast of chocolate sweetness and the sauce sourness and tanginess. Mm. Right. So good. Right. And the chocolate isn't that sweet because mm. this is like dark chocolate. So it, it you know, it, it, it's perfect. Like this is, oh, this is really good. <laughs> Capsina. Capsina. Capsinelle is village. It looks like chocolate. The package says it's chocolate. Uh huh. For me, it looks like coffee bean. A coffee bean, right? Doesn't it look like cappuccino? Ah. Ah, cappuccino. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I don't know. That's what I'm assuming. Cappuccino. I'm guessing. I see, I see. I open it. The the outside is it looks like chocolate. Yeah. But inside there are two layers. Yes. One side is dark color and. The, one side is white. Right. So maybe it's like a cappuccino, maybe. It's like a, a coffee. Milk. Coffee and milk. Coffee and milk. Yeah. Maybe. Ooh, maybe, I maybe. See. Once again, just assuming. Mmm. Coffee. Yeah, flavor. Flavor. coffee. <laughs> mm. Mm. The mm. texture is kind of chewy. It's interesting. Mm. Mm. A little bit milky. Definitely mocha. Mm. Definitely mocha. I gotta say, none of these sweets are overly sweet. They are actually. Like the sweetness level that's is right. like about the same as the sweets we have here in that's Japan. Right. That's right. That's right. All right. Next, we got two uh, candy bars here, and they're different because um, the packaging looks a little different. Mm -hmm. But maybe we'll try this um, red dotted one called Potios Turorudi. Oh, interesting. The Ooh. inside is white. Like the outside is. It, yeah, the chocolate is only a thin coating on the outside. And I, I don't know what the inside. Hmm. Smooth. What is this? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> At first, I thought you know the texture reminded me of marshmallow, mm -hmm. like the texture of marshmallow, that fluffy texture. But it's not marshmallow. It's closer to marzipan, but it's not as thick as marzipan. It's like the texture of marshmallow with the taste and like a little bit of greediness of marzipan. And this one is actually on the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. This is much sweeter than the other sweets that we've mm -hmm. tried so mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. But I like it very much. I don't know what the taste is though. I wish mm. I wish I knew. Is it cherry? Cherry. I don't know. Because um, no. it tastes a little bit of fruitiness oh, yes. in here. So. Alright, in the same series, we have another one here. And I'm thinking this is on either chestnut or hazelnut, just by looking at the picture. And once again, this one uh, is the same type, you know, like the uh, chocolate coated, just chocolate coating on the outside, and and the inside is all white. It's like a banana. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I think the texture is like a banana. Texture, oh. right? But it's, it's not. The, the, I don't think it's a banana. <laughs> what is it? I don't know what it is. For me, mm. it's a banana. <laughs> but there's no banana in the picture. No. It's just like, Chestnut cake or something, but it doesn't taste like chestnuts. No, chestnuts. No, <laughs> but it doesn't taste like banana either. Really? For me, it's banana for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> Next one is baratom. Oh, baratom. Package says nothing. It's, right, it's ocean. Right, it's the ocean. <laughs> so maybe it's an ocean themed chocolate bar. <laughs> okay, let's open. Oh, look at that. Ooh, chocolate coated. Snack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a wafer. Oh, it's wafers. Yeah. Thank it's you very wafer. much. Thank you very much. He, he loves wafers. Wafers he really does. So yeah. So there are one, two, three, four, five layers of wafers mm -hmm. with the layers of chocolate mm -hmm. in between, and it's coated with a chocolate. Hmm. It's funny. This one because the last two were, were so sweet. This one doesn't taste sweet. It's almost like where's the sweetness? It's almond. 
peanuts? I don't think it's almond nor peanut. <laughs> I think it's just wafer with chocolate. Really? Is there like like peanuts? Mm, some kind of nuts flavor. Like nutty, nutty mm-hmm. flavor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brazil nuts? Could be. Alright, next one we have here is called Sport. Minden Sport. Sport. Yeah. There's number four. Yes, number four. Four. Yes. Four means... Uh, four means like, four. Four means four. I, I don't know what it means. And it, th- this one, it, you know, like when I when I break it, it's it's kind of um, crumbly, crumbly and soft. It's not like a hard candy bar, and it's not like a, a gooey center either. So um, once again, very interesting. All the textures are very different in all of these candies. Mmm, it's a little chewy. This reminds me of a protein bar. Like a protein bar. It is. The name is Sports. Mm. <laughs> is it a protein bar? Maybe it's a protein bar. I think it's protein, kind of protein bar. I think so too. Mm-hmm. Like a chocolate flavored protein bar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think mm. this is a thick type of milo. Like kind of like <laughs> a thick m- milo. milo. Right, right. Yeah. The next one is... How can I read this? <laughs> well, there's two bars. Uh, Cherenshi Bonbon KFT. Oh, okay, okay. 40% cacao, that's what it says. Mm-hmm. And one is, is, is SZ and the other one is an S. And the pictures are different. Mine is, this is Dragonfly. Dragonfly? Yeah, mine is a caveman. <laughs> I, I don't know. But why don't we try um, both of these? Oh, chocolate. Block chocolate. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're gonna try the uh, the caveman first. Caveman. Caveman. Oh, this is a caveman, <laughs> right? Okay, caveman first. Milk chocolate. Mm, milk chocolate. Mm. Milk chocolate. Mm. Mm, not that sweet again. Mm. It's so funny. It's like when I took a bite, like there was almost no sweetness at first. Isn't that strange? Because we ate so much sweet. <laughs> right. Well, you know, it, the, the these um, you know, you know, the one with the white I need to in, inside, my like. Those were very sweet. It's funny how when you eat something really sweet and after that you eat something that's sweet or less sweet, it almost tastes like like there's no sweetness. Dragonfly? Dragonfly. Is that the same or is it different? Less sweeter. Hmm. Less sweeter than the caveman. It's really milk chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yet milk flavor is strong. Right. Mm. Now what not is- sweet. Wouldn't it be interesting if um, these were the exact same and then we're saying they taste different? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Please teach us. If you're from Hungary, mm. let us know. But I gotta say, these chocolates are very smooth mm. and you know, um, it's, it's not very intense um, and it's not very sweet. So it's nice actually. Mm-hmm. Like this one, I don't really need like a cup of tea to eat with it because the sweetness level is not that much. Last two guys, these are called Negro and one is classic, the other one is Mentol. Mentol. So we're gonna save the Mentol for last because I think it's always good to end your dinner with mints. We're gonna try the classic and it's black. Please try it. Well, we're gonna both try it together. Please try it. Please we'll try, try it together. It. Please try, try it. I will, I will. The picture is saying me, don't bite. But you got it. You have to. Ralesk will get angry at you if you don't try it. Hmm. Okay, it kind of looks like it's gonna be like licorice, which he hates. And I don't mind licorice as long as it's not too intense. Oh. Hmm. Listen, do you wanna do you, do you wanna eat? No. That's actually very pleasant. I like this one. Hmm. It's not just licorice. It's licorice, but it's also kind of minty, right? Oh, this one's pretty good. I like this a lot. Hmm. It's not too intense. It has a really pleasant licorice flavor. Mm. Mm. Any comments? This is not so strong. Not so strong. Right? Licorice flavor. Right. It's not too bad. Right. It's minty flavor. Mm. Combined with a minty flavor. Right. Mm. Well, if you don't like licorice, you're not gonna like this one. All right, the, the, the last one is Negro Mento. And I, I think you're gonna be okay with this one. I think this is just going to be like mint. This is clear color. Yes, yeah, very clear. It's very beautiful. Hmm. Mm. Very mm. nice. 
Very nice. What a beautiful way to end this epic food haul. Mm. I can't mm. believe how much food mm. we just ate. Cleansing my palate. <laughs> this is nice. It's, it's not like a strong mint. Mm. No, because I know you don't very like pleasant. a really strong mm. mint, right? This is pleasant. It's very it. pleasant. It, mm. It's candy still. Mm. Like it's not just mint. It's mm. candy. It makes my makes my mouth very cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've come to the end of our taste test. We've had a lot of things to eat. So why don't we choose our favorite? From the savory one, okay. I like the the powder, not paprika one. The salty, the white one. The salty white one. Mm -hmm. Wow, sounds so appetizing. <laughs> we put as the noodles, vegetable seasoning. Yes, the vegetable seasoning. <laughs> I like that one. Okay. From the savory mm -hmm. and from the sweets, mm -hmm. I choose this chocolate. This the, some kind of berry, cho uh, stummer or something, stummer or something like the that. The picture says it is it is cherry. Is that cherry? Oh, yeah, cherry. it does taste like cherry. cherry. Yeah. That's right. Cherry, cherry, uh, jelly. Chocolate. <laughs> right, right, okay, yes, okay. Well, um, mine is very similar to yours to be honest with you. Uh, my favorite from the savory has to be the horseradish. Oh, horseradish. Yeah, oh. I don't know why, but that particular horseradish is delicious. But it's good. Really good horseradish. It really is. I understand. And my favorite from the sweets is the same as yours. It's this uh, cherry uh, jam filled chocolate. Mm. This one kind of um, pleasantly surprised me. Yes. The, the dark chocolate flavor and the tanginess of the, the tartness, cherry paste. Tartness, uh, right. The tartness of cherry jelly. Yes, mm -hmm. perfect, perfect, perfect combination. Mm -hmm. So once again, thank you so much Relesque for sending these to us. We had a great time trying them out. And to the rest of you, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up. And as always, let us know which one were your favorites in the comments down below. And this is uh, the second time we're doing a Hungarian uh, taste test. If you've missed the first one, if you're interested in watching that, make sure to check it out. And we do have an entire, like a huge playlist of these internet national taste tests that we've done throughout the years. If you're new to channel if you are new to our channel and you like these kind of videos, we would love it if you subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you on next food taste test. Bye bye. bye.